Hi guys, this is a video. Uh, I said I would make some ups and down. Here you see the fire, it's burning still and it's really windy outside and the uh, problem with those stove, they don't like the wind at all. Uh, I don't know if you see uh, trying too hard this video about the wind but today it's really windy outside. I will go and show you what I did to prevent this and here On the top of my, on the top there, I made a cap, and it's really windy there. I don't know if you'll see the the trees there move, or this one here, but it's really windy. And the uh, problem is with the wind. I'll go inside here and I'll show you something I I made here. Okay, I will put this on my little uh, thing here. Okay, zoom out a little bit like that here. What I made, guys, is I took a pipe like this. It's a four-inch pipe. I took a six-inch pipe, bigger one. 8 inch long and at 4 inch I put it over the top like that so when it's windy it doesn't affect the, the smaller pipe and the smoke comes underneath the, well there's no smoke but you can see when it's cold a lot vapor uh, coming out here and coming out at the top and it's really really helping guys and uh, with wind or no wind it didn't change the pull at all so and I made a little cover on the top it's uh, it's not I just took whole piece of metal and some scrap pipe that I had and I built it up with that and it's really really different uh, it was hard to light it up and Make it burn was same thing, really difficult. So uh, if you're going to look some videos, I know some did it that moves with the wind, and I prefer this one because um, any direction it will it doesn't change at all the uh, how can I say that the uh, pull of your stove and. Uh, before I got it, when it was windy, you could see the vapor or the smoke goes straight. And uh, when it was windy a lot, it would make an effect on the stove that you would hear uh, the flame would go uh, back and forth. And it was really, really uh, not scary, but sometimes smokes got back in. Another thing that I found is that I used little cotton balls cotton balls like this and Vaseline and what I do is melt the Vaseline and get the little cotton balls here to uh, absorb and you just light one of those and it's so easy to light your stove so that's it guy so uh, if you have any question put them down and uh, like I said if it's windy uh, you should really really think if you make a, that kind of stove you should think about taking a pipe and it's easy I just bend my metal I might uh, bend some metal to show you here and uh, the thing is you have a lot of uh, hair space from the six inch and then uh, one inch all around your four inch pipe here when uh, to get your, the wind uh, I took a look when it was cold a lot and you could see smoke coming out underneath on the top and I did the cap so the snow doesn't come inside my pipe that's another thing I found uh, when I came in one morning and was it had snowed and the snow got in the four inch pipe it down in the uh, elbow and the elbow was full of snow trying to light that up was 
I had to go and empty that elbow of snow. So uh, it's all little thing you should consider and I think will improve a lot if you make a stove like that guys. So thank you for watching and uh, till next time have a good day.